Now, campaigners are hoping that 100,000 people are going to take part in the biggest voluntary project. It's in order to remove rubbish from the UK's coastline. It's called the Million Mile Clean and will start next month. It's been organised by the group Surfers Against Sewage. Now, our correspondent Andrew Plant is in Bristol this morning alongside the River Avon, which looks rather um, tranquil. Even though there's a road behind, it's still a lovely spot. But what really irks so many people is when you walk along, go for a lovely walk and there's litter. Good morning, yes. One of the positives of this pandemic, of course, is that we've all been outside a lot more. Places like this, you can just see the River Avon disappearing underneath the Clifton Suspension Bridge in the background there. But there has been an increase in litter too, particularly recently. It wasn't obvious when we got here this morning, actually, but just looking in the surrounding bushes, it's really easy to find. There's plastic bottles, little plastic football. We even found that canal-side classic look, a shopping trolley, and a lot of this will end up in the water eventually, of course. So the idea now is to use people power to try to get some of our beauty spots, our canal paths, our beaches cleaned up. Now we've got Jack here from Surfers Against Sewage, busy picking up litter. Thanks for coming along this morning, Jack. There's been another type of rubbish in the mix though, particularly in the last 12 months, hasn't there? There has indeed. So alongside the usual rubbish we're picking up, the, the plastic bottles, the crisp packet wrappers, we're seeing an explosion of PPE. So single-use face masks, gloves, aprons, they're going, we're seeing them from, from you know, inland areas all the way to the coast and, and it's become a, a, a global issue. So what is it we're trying to do here? It's not just paths like this. You're, you're trying to tidy up all sorts of places, aren't you? Absolutely. So we're calling on 100,000 volunteers to join us and commit to cleaning 10 miles of river, beach, mountain, street, right across the UK and get as involved as possible. We're, we're aiming to reconnect them with each other coming out of the pandemic, but also with our environmental spaces that are known to help boost physical and mental health and wellbeing. And, and you're getting sort of information about that as well, aren't you? Just sort of see how widespread the problem is at the moment and you think it's got worse. Absolutely. We, we, we know it's got worse, but we need the data to back that up. And we will be collecting data throughout the entirety of 2021 and onwards that shows the, fe the effects the pandemic has had on plastic pollution. Yeah, Jack, thank you so much. I'm just going to skip past you here because we've got Lorna, who is a volunteer already for this scheme. Lorna, sorry to interrupt your litter picking. Just tell us a bit about why you got involved with this. Um, so I've been spending a lot of time outdoors, as I'm sure a lot of people have over the past year. And just I've noticed litter everywhere I go. It's just crazy. And I follow Surfers Against Sewage on Facebook and saw that they'd organised the Million Miles Beach Clean. And I thought that's such a simple way for me to get involved and sure. make a tangible difference. And just on a practical level, if people do want to get involved, what, what's the process? What do you actually have to do? So you can just go on their website, you go on beachcleans.org.uk and then they give you a litter picker, they give you bags, they give you gloves. So you get the kit? Exactly, yeah. Okay. And it's just such an easy fun thing to do. So, you know, instead of going for a drink with your friends, you go for a litter pick and it's actually pretty fun. You come out and get some exercise too. Yeah, and exactly. what, what's the process like? Hard work, I suppose. Yeah, I think it's it's weirdly satisfying. If you get a really big bit of litter, obviously you know it's bad, but you can kind of make it into a competition. Me and my friends have been going for walks, and, you know, whoever gets the biggest bag, so it's fun basically the winner. Yeah, OK, yeah. Lorna, thank you so much. So they're trying to do a million miles, which sounds like a lot, but they're looking for 100,000 volunteers, and that works out at 10 miles each, so could be doable. Yeah, absolutely. And it's something, it is... Everyone's seeing it all the time, you know, not necessarily in coastlines, just where you live. There is a lot of litter. Andrew Plant there, our correspondent there 